सम क्वेश्चन आर डिफिकल्ट टू आस्क सो यू आस्क अ डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन और यू ड्रॉप अ लिटिल हिंट एंड देन अ बिगर हिंट बट समाइम्स पीपल जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू हेयर दे हैव अ कैरापेस अराउंड दैम लाइक द हार्ट शेल ऑफ अ सी टर्टल एंड दे आर डेफ टू योर वर्ड्स द गर्ल इन दिस स्टोरी हैज टू मैन इन हर लाइफ एंड अ क्वेश्चन शी मस्ट आस्क Anura Pereira is coming over tonight. Amma, my mother says I ought to take him seriously. I told Vijay about it. So, Vijay said, he is coming to see me because he is interested in me and he has serious marriage intentions. He lives in Australia. Vijay smiled and said nothing. That's the way with Vijay. Do you know who Anura Pereira is? I asked him. He shook his head. No. Then he laughed. So he is looking for a Sri Lankan wife. Yes, I said. Anura Pereira earns dollars, has a Sydney house and a ticket to Australia. So, what are you saying? Vijay laughed. You are going to marry this fool with a foreign job? Is that what you have come to tell me? That wasn't what I had come to tell him at all. I first met Vijay at the new disco. It was a birthday party and there were about 20 people in our group. I didn't know many of them. My friend Lakshmi took me along to it. It was her friend's birthday and we had all been looking forward to going to this new place. Everyone was talking about it. It was crowded that night. The dance floor was fantastic. with lights coming on underneath and other lights moving fast around the room vijay was not in our group he came up to me and said how about a dance it was difficult to hear him but when the lights shone on him i could see in his face that he really wanted to dance with me we danced all night he bought me drinks and smoked lots of cigarettes in the end He asked whether we could meet again. Only the next day I discovered he is the cook at the beach hut. He is older than me, tall and long and always smiling. He has such lovely thick untidy hair and is so thin. He never eats. He says he likes to see his food eaten by other people to watch his customers. His friends grow fat and happy. He says there is nothing he likes better than to cook his prawns in front of the ocean. His face is big and square and he always seems ready to burst into a laugh. And when he does, the whole sea seems to break into smiling waves. The beach is so lovely with him. When I went to see him today, he said hello with a big smile on his face. Come and sit down. I won't be long. He had a bowl full of enormous prawns on his knees. He took off the heads and shells, then carefully pulled out a thin blue vein that curved round each prawn like a backbone. Look at that, he said, holding the vein up. Sea poison. At first, I didn't even want to say a single word about Anura Pereira, but. Amma says you must always go for the best you can and i know anura perera will come in a big modern car with a stereo and dark glass in the windows i wanted vijay to know when he finished with the prawns he washed his hands and poured out some coffee for me i wanted to know what he really felt for me what are we going to do i asked about what he said about us i said what are we going to do he said there is an american movie on at the cinema it is so easy for him he doesn't see anything there are no problems no difficulties he is not like other guys always trying to persuade a girl into something she doesn't want to do he always says exactly what he thinks but i suppose i look worried because he bent forward what is it you want to know then he asked 
touching my hand. He has such a light touch. His fingernails are like she shells, pale pink with little half moons visible. When he touches my hand with his fingers, I feel wonderful and I want to go on like this forever. Just drinking coffee together and looking at the sea. I said, we have got to decide what to do. Going to a movie won't solve anything. But you like the movies, he said. For months nothing has happened and now suddenly everything happens. Vijay first then Arura Pereira. When Amma talks to me, I see a whole new world. I don't think Vijay could even imagine it. He would just laugh. Amma said we could go and buy a new sari. Something really nice. And I saw just the right shoes at the Tonyos next to the supermarket. Imagine flying stopping in Singapore. I can't believe it. But it is what I have dreamed of all along. Something happening so I can be someone. Instead of this crazy feeling that nothing matters. But then when I go to Vijay. I really don't know what I want. He looked at me and put his head on one side. So what matters so much? He asked. He lit one of his thin cigarettes and stretched out on his chair. His head rested on the back of it. He let his mouth stay open like a fish. Sometimes he can be so silly, but it isn't that simple. We can't just stay like this. I said, the beach hut isn't going to be here forever. The wood is already going soft in the sea air and the roof will soon fall apart. I looked out of the doorway and watched the green sandy water of the ocean rising and falling. You can't be a beach cook for the rest of your life, I said. Or is that all you want? Do you really only want to be a cook all your life? I didn't want to hurt him. I just wanted him to say something. But he just stared at me. I felt he was seeing me out at sea, floating across the ocean. But who is the drifter? Not me. A crowd of swimmers arrived, looked for beer and food. So I said, I must go. You have work to do. Call me as soon as you can, before evening. It is important. Call me, please. He smiled sweetly. Okay, he said. Then he closed his eyes and breathed in the last of his cigarette smoke. At home, everyone was busy. I went to my room and stayed out of the way. I wanted to be alone. Nobody seemed to miss me. By five o'clock when I look out, the whole place has been dusted and tidied up. Auntie Manil has even brought flowers for that awful green vase that sits by the telephone. The house even smells different. Amma has made sandwiches and little cakes to put out in her special silver bowl. I have never seen the place looking like this. Amma is so excited and anxious. She has been rushing round arranging everything. It's no accident that this first meeting is happening tonight. The stars must be in the right position today and that gives us our best chances of success. I know she would not take any risk. I suppose I should stop all the preparations and ask her, do I have a choice in all of this? But I don't want to choose. I hate choosing. It's all so crazy. What's in Australia anyway? Everyone wants to go there. Especially when there is any trouble here. But what for? I like the beach here. I like our road. The purple bonegavilia flowers climbing over the wall. And that sandy path we take down to the sea. I like traveling by yellow three-wheelers. Just to live in a large house with a view of Sydney Opera House. Or something. What's so great about that? Vijay would say it's all in the head. I wish he would think of something. But Amma would die if she knew about him. She would go crazy. A cook on the beach. What she wants to say is, 
गुड इवनिंग मिस्टर पेरेरा सो प्लीज टू मीट यू डू कम एंड टेक माई डॉटर अवे चेंज हर वर्ल्ड विद योर इम्पोर्टेंस एंड योर नाइस फैट वॉलेट गिव हर अ मॉडर्न हाउस अ बिग कार डिजाइनर क्लोथ्स शूज शी कैन अफोर्ड टू थ्रो अवे आफ्टर एवरी पार्टी गिव हर एक्सपेंसिव थिंग्स एंड ऑल्सो योर लाइफ लॉन्ग रेस्पेक्ट एंड ऑल विल बी वेल शी विल बी गुड फॉर योर बिजनेस इन योर पोजिशन इन सोसाइटी She will be a priceless jewel to you. Just take her, Mr. Pereira. Please take her to Australia away from here, and don't forget her mother. I waited and waited for Vijay to call. I didn't know what I wanted him to say, but I thought he would find something. He wouldn't let things slip if just a few words could solve the problem. Then about an hour ago, the telephone rang. I let it ring for a bit. Amma was in the bathroom. Nobody else answers the telephone in our house. In the end, I picked it up. I was trembling so much that I almost couldn't speak. What time can you come out to eat tonight? Vijay asked. I have made a special dish fantastic with those big prawns. I could hear the ocean in the telephone. I could see him with a big smile on his face. pulling open his white shirt and rubbing his bony chest with his long thin fingers he would have the lamp lit under the trees i said i can't talk the iron is on i was ironing my green sari the new one that amma bought for me i have to put the phone down i said i put it down he won't ring again he thinks i know his number by heart mount leviana Nine two six nine seven nine, nine two six nine seven nine.